Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Gary Hall from Exodus and formerly from Slayer, and you're listening to The Razor's Edge. You're listening to The Razor's Edge. My name's Matt, and I am at Bloodsuck with half of Death Collector, Kieran and Mick. Yeah. Thanks Ooh. for uh, meeting with me. <laughs> Absolutely no problem. You've just come off stage well, a couple of hours ago. An hour ago. Stage. Well, an hour ago. Half. Not so long ago. Uh, half. Yeah, I don't know. I lost my time, time already. <laughs> Some time is an illusion. Who knows? <laughs> <laughs> Some time ago, you've, you've come off stage. Um, like, what a response for that time of day. How, how is it from your point of view? Well, we, we didn't have massive expectations. I was yeah. hoping, and uh, my hopes were more than met. They were overcome. Yeah. I was a little overwhelmed. But I was like, wow, it's a packed the place out. We had circle pits, pits, head banging rows, we had out surfers. Yeah. At 12 o'clock, I'm like, what the hell? <laughs> yeah. So I think that was a successful response. Live in after midday. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. That's a good one. I mean, because you're, uh, you know, you, you, you're in different countries essentially. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, live shows don't happen very often. It must be quite cathartic when you can finally get out and do it. It's it's all show. fun, man. It's, it's it's all about fun. Like we meet up. We, like do, it's it's like there's. Uh, how would I describe it now? It's not an RD. Do you yeah. mean like I travel enough from Ireland? Like the hardest part for me is getting a two and a half hour bus up to Dublin from yeah. Ireland. Like, that's the only thing that annoys me. What do you mean? When I get over and I meet the lads and we rehearse, we play gigs. It's all about fun, man. It's, do you mean there's no nonsense when you do that? Like, what you see is what you get. Oh, do you know, we're very straightforward. Like very, very straightforward. I mean, yeah. it's what the uh, the team was saying on the surface stage. Like, oh, what do you need? It was like just this, nothing. Like, oh, okay. <laughs> like they were expecting a big palooza, and we're like, yeah, no, yeah. No, no complicated yeah, rigs or setups or anything else. Just plug straight into the front of the amp after go. That's it. Yeah, they were really happy with us. Completely dig your map, of course. Yeah. Yeah, are there any perks to living far apart? To find? Oh, the internet. Without it, we'd be screwed. Really, like you know, sending songs to each other, being able to record at home. Yeah. Yeah. Video Calling each yeah, other, video calling each other, yeah. you know, keeping contact. We keep in touch with each other every day, anyway. Like, do you mean, like, so yeah, yeah. Luckily, yeah. Luckily, even though we're distancing, we're quite close. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, yeah. 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 Do you know, we're very lucky, really. Like, because yeah. we're not too high expectations. No. Yeah. Like, if somebody doesn't respond, it's like they'll get to it. We always check. Of course. Yeah, always check. Of course. Check. Well, we know how. To, we've been doing this for years now. We know what we know what to do. Absolutely. It was your last show with Andy Well today. It is indeed. And his last show overall. Ever? Yeah. Yeah. Um, I can feel the emotion. Like, um, hell of a way to go out, but yeah, it, is, yeah. it, it was very bittersweet for us. But at the same time, we're so proud of him. Like, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I didn't, I didn't think that he wanted to keep going because we had these had discussions with us before about, you know, he's feeling the aches and pains, and you know, and he's like, oh, I don't fucking keep doing this. And when we had the Bloodstock announcement, he was like, that's my last show. And we went, yeah. Fair enough. Yeah, like, yeah. Respect yeah. Jim. Yeah, we, can, we can't argue with him. Like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, the, the guy is a legend. Like, no, he is. Yeah. He hit like, 16 the other day. Memorial it was birthday yeah. the other day. And he, he's like, I'm done. That's me out. I think he's earned the rest. Especially like uh, such a physically demanding job in yeah, death yeah. metal drumming, you know. And he's still uh, amazing. Like, he's like, he you know, he's there warming up, and we were just like, why are you retiring? You're still amazing. Just watching him, like, I don't, I don't look at him as a drummer, I look at him like as a best friend. Do you know yeah. that kind of a way? Yeah, which is so that's why he's kind of like, it, it hurts. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. He's come off because I've always known him from when I was National Crown. I played gigs with Morin when he was in Memorial. Yeah, yeah. And he was the only one that I really talked to. Or he was just the most easiest going. Yeah. Carl sound as well, but like it was just like really easy going. And I was just like, oh, he's such a cool guy. And then years later, I'm there like in a band with him, and it's the wildest thing. And it's we have incredible. a lot in common, it's and we are friends. I mean, we're, I'm still going to meet up with him and go for course, a yeah, yeah. You know, like and he's a good friend. Definitely. Does this present the opportunity to rebirth and rebrand yep. Death Collector? Essentially, we'll have a small rebrand, like small, like ever so slight. Mm. Yeah. That's about it, though. We're like, we're, you know, we're gonna new members and new direction with the music because we're going to yeah, not really a new direction it's well, going to yeah. be more or less the same yeah there's what we'll throw some more Blast influences beats. into the mix no Plus, we're not going beats. prog or anything Blast beats. no we're not going blast beats either no punk object punk, <laughs> punk <laughs> crusty punk yeah. crusty grindy noisy filthy dirty yeah. cartoons yeah. 
yeah, yeah. gotta keep the filth and the law in the Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. We want people to gurn their faces whenever keep they the, Keep the DBs and the double bass stuff in there. Oh, aye, aye, yeah. aye. True guitarists grind it up a bit. Of course, with a label like Prosthetic back in you as well, you know, you, yeah. you set for continued success. Hopefully. Yeah, like yeah. The, they, they were happy with our release uh, with them, so, and it did well, so I'm really impressed. Yeah, it did. Um, but they just want, they want to kind of see what we're up to now, they're like, what are you doing? So, once we get the new members in tow and new EP, we'll be like, right, here you go, guys. Yeah. So, yeah. Like we'll, we'll they're not rushing gig. us though, they like take time. We do this gig in October in Glasgow, that's the only gig we've done yeah. the rest of this year. We'll with the fifth. We we'll put all the, put the cards on the table and after that and go, okay, right, and we sit down, we yeah, yeah. seriously discuss it, okay, what way do we want to go? What? Yeah. What's the plan? Yeah. What's the plan? Yeah. What do we want to achieve? What do we want to do? Of course. At the end of the day, still, let's be fun anyway, do you know? Yeah. So, we're at Bloodstock. Yeah. I don't say this to everyone, but do you come here often? I, do you know what? I've come here every year bar 2022. Right, okay. Since 2012. It's I've never missed it. <laughs> like, so, it's kind of wild, but yeah. Yeah. It's good to be home. My second time here. My first time here was. 2019 yeah. with Salad Cult on the Sophie stage. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. So, that's yes. 22 times I've been to this festival, that's it. Like, and I was yeah. very lucky, I've played very fortunate time. to be on stage. And then, like, you know, like, third time playing. So, of course, that's yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, 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 So, I haven't paid for three tickets. That's kind of the way I see it. <laughs> I'm, in a good, I'm in a good place. <laughs> that's good. Well, this is my fourth time working, so I haven't paid for four tickets. But yeah, right. it's not a competition. No, all right. <laughs> you win. Um, who else? Show up and catch over the weekend. Well, everybody, the really. champion, internal champion, but they're yeah. playing soon. They're like the last band, and no, the second, second last band. Last. Yeah, Igor, not oh, Igor, Opeth. I'm hoping to bump into Opeth. Hey, I won't. Oh, they're gonna. Yeah. They'll, hey, be, yeah. they'll be. They'll be locking key away. Like, yeah, yeah, like, yeah I can't wait for that set. I mean, I want to catch Enslaved, but yeah, Enslaved, Rotting Christ, yeah, Grand yeah. Vegas. Oh, cool. Flash, it's, it's called hey, the. Um, it's called the Michaels dropped to open track with Death Metal Vocals in again. Like, I didn't see that coming. Yeah, so, yeah. You still get a new people. track. I was like, oh, 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 it's back. And you still got like internet commenters that don't like it because they got used to them. People on the internet don't like anything. <laughs> but saying that though, like, this, it's over on a uh, uh, page, to Tech Death Time. So yeah, yeah. Help run that. And um, we shared stuff on there, and everyone was so positive. Everybody liked it. Yeah. So it's all about the community you're in. No, you're right. The community over competition, as they say. Oh, yeah. Fantastic. Well, thank you for your time. Thank you for having Thanks us. Thanks very much, man. This has been Death Collector at Bloodstock yeah. for the Razor's Edge. Thanks for listening. Make sure you keep up to date with future episodes by subscribing to our channels. For more information on this podcast, or for all the latest music news, reviews, interviews and more, head over to our website, www.therazorsedge.rocks.